Hi, I'm Julie. I'm an RN case manager at Delaware Hospice. I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know what it is that one of our nurses might do in a day. The first thing that we usually do is we get on a phone call that we call a stand-up call. It gives us all a chance to find out what's happened overnight. Um, it lets one shift give a report to the next, and so we talk about the needs that came up. Um, what it is that we need to do to continue to manage that patient's care. And on that call, it's really nice because we have a chance to speak with leadership. We talk with chaplains, social work, nurses, CNAs, um, and the patients. So we can all sort of triage our day and the things that we need to do to manage everything that might have come up. Um, we also get to talk about any changes that have happened with COVID-19 and some of the new information that might be out there. Um, one of the things that we find very important is the safety of our patients and our families and ourselves. So we take all that very seriously. Um, and I know that everybody has been experiencing these changes and these, um, these things come up kind of quick. So we are doing our best to make sure that we are all safe in the community, in the homes, um, in the long-term care centers, the assisted living, independent living, anywhere that we go out and see patients and their families. So today, after that phone call, um, I had two follow-ups that needed to be taken care of, and thankfully, a fellow nurse was able to help me out um, because I needed to be in too many places at the same time. So she was able to help me with one of those patients. Um, he had some changes and we just needed to make sure that he was comfortable. So that got taken care of by her. Thank you. Um, the next one I was able to take care of. Um, I had four visits already scheduled or not scheduled, but on my radar to visit. And um, so I added that one as well. Two of those were telehealth visits because COVID-19, um, many people don't want us to come into the home and they would prefer telehealth. So we have been able to do that. And that's been very convenient for them. Um, so we get on the phone. I was able to talk to one patient and um, we talked all about pain management, uh, things that she could do to help manage her life with this new pain. Um, so we took care of that. And then the other patient, I talked to the patient and the spouse, and we talked about the shortness of breath and ways that that could be managed. Um, ordered refills, had those delivered to the home, and um, arranged to do that next week as well. Also, let's see, in addition to the two telehealth phone calls, then I went out into the field and went to a person's home. Um, she was having some inflammation and some pain. So we talked about ways, non-pharmacological ways that we could help with that. Um, also obtained an order from the physician, collaborated with the physician to find out what would be the best plan to help manage that. Um, got that in action, talked about the side effects, talked about things that they could expect and things that they could do to also help with that pain that were non-pharmacological. Um, had that medicine delivered to their home. So that made it more convenient because the caregiver in the family is elderly, so it's difficult for them to get out. Um, so these systems that we have in place make things easier for families to care for their loved ones. Uh, let's see, and then another visit I had was um, someone that is transitioning. Things have changed. Um, so a lot of education to the family to help them understand things that, what they're seeing, what the changes are, what they mean. Um, so currently making daily visits to them to help them get through this. So. Uh, that basically was the day, um, then came back, finished all my documentation, collaborated some more with nurse practitioner and physician, um, 
also collaborated with another nurse and my supervisor. So we work as a team. Um, I know that you might not see everybody out there in the field, but we have quite a group. They're all fabulous. Um, it's a calling for all of us. We all really enjoy what it is that we do. And um, so even if you just see one of us or two of us, there's a whole bunch of us back behind the scenes, making sure that everything's getting taken care of to the best of our ability so that we can help patients and their families um, take care of each other during this time. If you would like some more information, please reach out to us at DelawareHospice.org. Thank you very much.